hey welcome to another video i am back to youtube after a long time so in this video we are going to learn about web accessibility one of the most important topic nowadays and i'm going to show you uh, how web accessibility is going to work some of the tools how you can test it and how you can check if website is accessible or or not this is a general overview video and it is not technical uh, any type of person uh, can watch this video and understand uh, what is accessibility and how it works. For technical videos, I have it uh, on, on the channel by the time you watch this, but not now, but I'm going to upload for developers how you can uh, make sure your website is accessible. But in this video, uh, I'll g give you an overview of how accessibility is important, especially in the United States. They will require you to have accessibility on your website. They have an act called uh, ADA, which stands for American with Disability Act. And they are going to sue you if your website does not have a proper accessibility. And you will be fined more than 10,000. I'm just warning you. The thing is, it is very important not to be sued. I'm not saying, I'm not giving you like an amount of how much they will sue you, but it is very important not to get sued. A lot of my US clients, uh, reached out to me and said, uh, hey, our website need to be checked for accessibility. I did it for them and they are happy. But the thing is, I want to share it for others who want to make sure their website is accessible. So let's start uh, the video. And what is web accessibility? Web accessibility is basically your website to be accessible for every type of person, a person who cannot read, a person who cannot see, and a person who has like some sort of disability, for example. A person who cannot see properly should be able to navigate your website and uh, using a screen reader. And your website should have accessibility for them to provide uh, enough information for the screen reader to read it. And the same way for any other person. So the important part is here that your developer should uh, properly code the website. And I know a lot of the websites are not properly coded. It is not their fault. In the past, people did not care about the accessibility, but now it is very important. And they think of a website as a, like a public place, like a hospital, like a park, and which everyone can go, right? So website is the same thing, especially if it is a business website or a commercial, and uh, the focus of the people is mostly on e-commerce and the people who are making money out of your website. So it is very important to check the accessibility of your website. So now you understand what is accessibility, uh, how you can test it. For developers, you can refer to the web accessibility by w3.org. Um, you can read this one. It is a long article here. Also, if you are a coder, I highly recommend you read uh, this article, which is a long. I know it is long, but I'm going to summarize this one. Uh, the whole idea of this page is to tell you, make sure all your images have an alt text, make sure all your t uh, links have a title, make sure if you have an input, your input has a label, make sure your IDs are not duplicated across the website, and some other things, like if the link is going to open on a new tab, make sure you show an icon beside the link to let the user know it is going to open in a new tab. Those are the things that is mentioned in this article. You can go and read in depth in this one, but I'm not going to do this one. How you can check it? Now, there are many websites who can check the accessibility of your website. First one, this one is the web accessibility. It is nice, but I haven't tried the pro version. You put your website URL here. It is going to test you. It is going to give you the issues that you can fix. This is the first tool. There is another one, which is this one. Uh, this is nice, which give you uh, a lot of options. For example, you might see this one uh, A, double A, and triple A uh, when you are doing a web accessibility. This one is essential. So if you don't do this one, it is totally fine. Like if you do not, uh, if your uh, web accessibility is in the A level, that's fine. It is not a problem. But the second and third one is very important. For example, I'll show you another tool here. Uh, let's go here. No, nope, this one. For example, when you write, a, when you have a text on your website, make sure the text is readable. For example, and here is a text, and it should have a score of uh, I don't know, like what is the limit here? I think it is four, which is the limit, and it should be above four or five. Now here is the thing. This is the background color, and this is the foreground for the text. I'm going to change the, the background of this, uh, this one to be black. Now check it out. 
If you added black, this is the contrast ratio, it is it's still readable. This is uh, A1, it means if I come back here, this is essential, it is fine, but it is not perfect. You can see the color is um, black here. Now, if I make this one now another color, let's say this one, and this is going to turn like uh, in a different level. Now, you can see all of them are failing here. When it fails, it is totally like wrong. You cannot do this one. That's why when you are using this one, make sure at least if it is in this color, you can see it pass. It is not like pure white, but still it pass. And when it pass, it is fine. You can see uh, this is the uh, standard for the WCAG and it passed for this one and it passed for this one. It means this text is fine on your website. When you check your website here, it is going to give you uh, like every details of it. Let's check one of the websites here. This is the South Australian website, but New South Wales does not have where I live. I found this one for Australian website. You can do it in any website. Let's test this website and see how is the coloring here. And if this passed the accessibility. I'm not uh, specifically choosing them because they are on Australian government. Oh, we cannot do this one. To some websites we cannot do. Let's try this website. Okay, I'll copy this and let's put. Oh, okay, this is the search box, so you cannot put it here. I have to put it in one of these websites. Okay, let's check their own website. I'm going to test this one. It is going to give you an all of the 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 result for it is on website. Of course, they will not going to they are not going to escape anything. But their website say okay, there is zero issue here. So it is 92% and it is green and everything is fine for their own website because they have done it for their own website. If you test any other website, you will see a lot of issues. Now they are not like pro and they are, this is not a very powerful tool. You can use other tools, but the thing is, um, if you inspect element, if you click on the browser, I'm using Chrome and inspect element, your browser also has a tool for testing accessibility. Here is the tool. You just click on this arrow here. You will go to the lighthouse and in here you can generate a report if your website has accessibility, SEO, performance and everything. I will generate a report from this South Australian website and let's see it is generating the the data and it is going to take some time, but it will give you a lot of details. One of the other website I was uh, about to show you is this one. This is the best one. Uh, let's check this website. I put this one with accessibility and see if it find any issue. Their website didn't find any issue, so they should, yeah. This is all the issue. If you check the errors, there is no error. But if you go to the de <coughs> details, it will give you details of what might be wrong in your website and you can click on each of them and it is going to open uh, the code for you and show you what and where the something happened for example this is low contrast between text and background you can see the background is uh, blue and this one is white so if you check this color with the this uh, color tester you will understand what i mean by that contrast and background so let's check uh, the Australian website. You can see the accessibility is 92%. It is not 100, but it is totally fine. You cannot make it 100%. I can't, like you can, you can fix all the problem, but if you click on the accessibility, it is going to find some of the issues in the website. For example, the background and foreground uh, is the same issue. For example, uh, some of their uh, tags do not have like proper SEO. If you check, like they have a list, but list is not inside the UL. If you are a coder, you understand it is not semantically uh, like correct. They have to fix this one. Now they have some other issues, but as long as it, this one is green, it is totally fine. People still can use the website uh, properly and this is not a problem. But some websites are like below 50 and that is not fine. And that is like a bad uh, sign of accessibility. Uh, now this is how you can do it and then fix it uh, one by one. Of course, if you are a business owner, you don't have to do this one. Like the, your developer should do it. You, sh you should hire someone to do this one. But this is very important to understand what is wrong with your website and how you can test it. So uh, finally, some of the tools that will add uh, like uh, enable accessibility in your website. 
as a as a developer they have to fix all the semantic uh, error in your website now the other thing that people add in their website is some accessibility to accessibility tools what are those tools i'm going to show you two of them no one sponsored me to show them but they are really great one of them is this audio eye you can put your website mm -hmm. and free scan it it is going to show you what is this one well you can check the pricing i don't know how much they charge you but they will give you a script that you can install in your website and it will add an icon something like this explore accessibility once you click on this one you will see all these options for example you can focus on something enable this one you can click on something and it focus on that check this one and this focus on this side of the website and you can uh, change the cursor to be bigger you can highlight the links or uh, headings if this one is the heading and you can uh, enable the contrast you can see it is doing all of this that script will do the work I don't know if they have a free option, but it is a great tool. Uh, in the future videos, I will show you some of the free options, especially for e-commerce website. There are some alternative free options which enable this one in your website. And this is a good sign of having accessibility on your website and very important. If someone is going to uh, test your website and see this icon, uh, they will understand, yes, your website is accessible because everyone can do this one. For example, if I close this one and please press tap here, check this one skip to the main content and you can press enter you are in the main content and once you press like tab more here you can see it is going through different things and selecting everything this is good for the screen readers the people who cannot see they just press tab and the screen reader will read it for them there are some chrome extension who can read the screen you can install it like a screen reader for chrome and the other tool is also called this accessibility this is also a nice one, similar thing. Uh, they will do a similar um, like UI. All you have to do is just enable the, these options in your website and you will see the options here. Like you can change the whole look and feel of the website for accessibility. And this is how these tools are going to work. You can test any of them that you want, but for the future video, I'll show you some free options for e-commerce and some technical videos have how, how developers are going to fix their their issue especially uh the issues like this i'll show you this website is of course government website and it is accessible by everyone but i will show you some of the worst website not specifically to anyone but i'll show you how you can fix them like i will design a website without accessibility and i will show you how you can fix one by one that is the future video that i will upload for developers and this video is done like that's all you have to know if you are a business owner you can use some of these tools sign up for their trial or maybe they have a free uh, version it is very important to add one of them on your website i can't say which one is nice both of them are having a nice ui but you can choose one of them and then your website will be much more accessible and that way people can trust and if someone wanna sue you you will have a, like a proof of yes my website is accessible I hope this video has been informative and it is going to get too long and I will see you in the next video.